Ten bike lengths ahead, a brown lump rested on the fog line of the shoulderless highway. If the lump was scat, I'd put money on bear. Scat wasn't one of those things that typically prompted me to stop, although I would if there was something compelling about the shape, volume, or contents. As I neared, the lump looked as if it could be a work glove or knit hat. Its edge wavered. Roadkill. I was excited, as if this dead animal were a longed-for birthday present. I stopped and looked down at tidy, chocolate-colored feathers. Long black eyelashes were set against a white face blaze. The bird was belly down, head turned to the side, feathers spread like a blanket, gray beak curved to the road. A slight breeze raised some feathers, and they flapped noiselessly back into place. I took a picture and continued on. Did the spirit stay connected? When a car drove over the physical trace, was the spirit brutalized? Did it feel crush and tread mark again and again? Feathers on roadkill don't stick to the road. They lift when cars pass. I returned to the owl and laid my bike on the embankment. Three male cyclists, loaded with touring gear, stopped on the other side of the road. Do you need help? One of them asked. We talked across the road. They were from Oklahoma. There's this little owl, I said. It doesn't seem right to let it get squashed. I'm going to move it. They traveled onward, west down the highway. I picked up the owl, folded its wings around its body, light and tiny in my cycling gloved palms. The owl's head hung forward, weighted by its skull. In my left hand, I turned the owl over, tracing the bones along its left wing and then the right. The wing bent between elbow and wrist, the bone crushed like eggshell. I slid my fingers down the owl's beak, touching the tawny feathers on its breast and then its feet. The tiny talons, black daggers. The toes that held them, yellow, dainty, and gecko-like, their undersides minutely dimpled sticking out from sandy bloomers. Between my thumb and index finger, I held the toe, the talon, smooth and warm with a sharp point, like a cat's claw. Away from the road embankment, I laid the owl on dead leaves at a plant's base. I hefted my bike onto the road and journeyed on.